What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to save your file with the previous workday or previous business day in the file name, taking the holidays into account. So let's get into it. All right, so I've got three windows open here. On the upper left, I got my VBA editor. Below that, I have a test folder. To the right of that, I have a file with countries um, listed throughout, uh, data for each one and uh, let's get right into the code so we'll call this sub save previous workday and we won't have any variables to declare so let's get right into the code active workbook save as and let's go ahead and get our file name going so our file name we need a colon and equal sign we can grab our file name from right here or our file path from right here so we can right click, copy address as text, and paste it here. Then use another slash and uh, parentheses, or sorry, quotation. Um, now we want an ampersand and an underscore because I'm running out of space, so I'm gonna go to the next line. And then we'll call this file countries. Countries, man, I cannot spell right now. Sorry about this. Of the world, space quotation and then we'll do an ampersand and an underscore to go to the next line and this is where we're gonna put the date the previous business date so to get the previous business date which excludes weekends we want to do format evaluate and then quotation workday today as a reference and then minus one and then so close parentheses quotation close parentheses comma and then we want our date format so let's use um month month dash day day dash year 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 so that should give us what we want for our date and by the way today's date is october 6th um at least where I'm at, it's October 6th right now. So let's run this. And you see October 5th is the day that we have. So we can pull up a calendar, October 6th. We're expecting October 5th. But let's put this to the test. And instead of doing minus one or minus two, let's go to minus three and see if it'll go to October 1st instead of hitting October 3rd. So if we do minus three, well, we can do minus two just to see. So minus two will give us October 4th. And then minus three, will give us October 1st which is what, exactly what we want so we skipped over the third and the second because those aren't work days so now we need to incorporate holidays so let's run this back some so I don't mess up with the syntax and let's start here so we're gonna do workday today and then We'll do minus one again. And this time we're gonna use a bracket because we're gonna have an array, a list of uh, dates. So let's do double quotation. And then we wanna exclude the fifth. We wanna also ex exclude the fourth. Because we'll con we're gonna consider these holidays. So we're gonna consider the fourth a holiday, the fifth a holiday, the first a holiday so t minus one or the previous business day should be september 30th at this point so let's do that so the fifth the fourth and the first are going to be holidays so now we need another bracket to close and then a parentheses and then another quotation to match this one here. And then another close parentheses. And then now we're gonna do our format. So we'll do just we'll just do month month dash day day dash year year. Close that. Okay, so what's going on here? Oh, I need a double quotation. Cool. All right, let's run it. Boom. We got September 9th, or sorry, September 30th. So even though it's T minus one, 
the previous business day from today would be September 30th because we're considering October 5th, 4th, and the 1st as holidays. So we could even go back even more. So if we added another holiday, let's add September 30th as a holiday. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice sounds crazy right now. So if September 30th is a holiday, October 1st, 4th, and 5th are holidays, and today is the 6th, that means the previous business day should be September 29th. So let's run it. Boom. There we go. Okay. We're good to go here. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.